Hello and welcome to Heavy Metal Rex. My name is Wace. First of all, Happy New Year. Hope you guys had a great holiday weekend. Hope you guys had a really good New Year's. I myself am starting the new year out exactly the way I want, and that's actually heading down to meet a couple of my friends to do some uh, vehicular acceleration testing, <laughs> if you catch my drift. But it's a lot of my friends from a car group. We're gonna have a lot of fun tonight. It's just you know a great way to ring in the new year. But before I head out there, I wanted to do just a little bit something, and that something is installing my OTS uh, from Cobb. I don't have this on the car right now because I have my ProTune coming January 12th, but you know, what can I say? I've got horsepower envy, you know? You guys have seen the videos where I've been racing a couple of my friends. They've got like five, 600 horsepower cars. I go out there, I got my ass kicked, everybody laughs, but I'm like, it's whatever, it's fun. But I wanted to at least have a little bit of an edge because there's a couple of cars out there that I think would make for really good runs, like um, modified Audi A3s, you know, a couple of GTIs, things like that, that I think this car with the OTS would be like, it would be a really, really good matchup. So I'm going to put this on here. Um, I'm probably not going to sit here and go through the whole process of showing you guys what it is. Um, it's nothing has really changed. You've got the ODB cable that you plug to the Cobb, you plug it to the car, you install the map. There's, I mean, if you can make toast, you can install the Cobb OTS. So I'm going to spare you guys the details. What I am going to do is uh, get a couple of data logs for uh, the stock version and then also what it looks like um, after it's tuned. And I'm gonna put that through Virtual Dyno so you guys can get an idea of what kind of power we're making. Um, it isn't the most accurate, but when I had my 21 WRX, I was able to find a couple of spots where the elevation was completely flat. I can go the exact same speed, everything, make it as, uh, reduce the amount of variables that can mess up a run. And I got some pretty close numbers. It was very close to what the actual dyno was telling me. So I'm gonna do that. And um, we'll just, you guys are just gonna be along for the run. I hope, my hope tonight is to be able to get maybe four or five really good races and uh, capture those. So I got my 360 camera, I'm gonna have it in the back of the car. There's gonna be people that are taking uh, video, of course, obviously. Um, we'll see, we'll see what we get. But you guys are along for the ride. So let's get going. All right, guys, as you can see, the access port is installed. OTS map is on. I am low on gas, but everything seems to be fine. I've got all my gauges set up. So I'm gonna head to the gas station, get some gas, uh, do a couple of runs where I can get some data logs, and I'm gonna head over to where all the boys are hanging out, and let's get this night started. So this is actually the second area where we ended up meeting the first area. People had to disperse for reasons that you'll see later on in this, in this clip. Um, there was a decent amount of people that showed up here. A lot of muscle cars, uh, these seem to be the people who love doing this the most almost i feel like chargers challengers mustangs i mean they were everywhere there was a, a supra as there as you saw there's a gto there's a, some audis some, i think one bmw tons of uh, volkswagen as you'll see in the back but um at the first location there was actually like five or six wrx's that i was really looking forward to uh testing as you can see there's a volkswagen and an audi that just, just went off uh sounded great it was pretty cool um, but it's overall, like it was, this was my first time coming to something like this and it was uh, a, a learning experience because like you try to figure out what is the etiquette, you know, how do you talk to people, how do you make stuff happen. Uh, I apologize for the darkness of the camera. It's, this camera is not very good at night, as you can see. If there is no light, it is garbage. Uh, back here you can see it's little Germany. We got all of the eggs, as the internet likes to call them. Bunch of GTIs, bunch of golf R's pretty quick cars back here. I mean, most of them were like 400 horsepower or something around there. Like, I know thing my buddy's is, is out there and his, I think, I'm pretty sure his is 400 horsepower. Uh, there was one WRX that showed up. It was a built motor. Um, so he was kind of like on a early tune and we've, we actually got a chance to line up, but you'll see exactly what happened with that.
That's a cop. Yep, that's a cop. So, as you can see, I'm ending the video right where I started it, almost the exact same spot I was standing before I left for the night. It is now like four, five hours later. I'm just now getting back home. Um, as you guys saw in the clips, things, they didn't get out of hand, but certain individuals were not pleased with us being where we were. And, you know, we all, were, everybody was civil about it. But it's hard, you know, I, was, I wasn't able to get any scientific data tonight. Um, I did have the cob on the car and I couldn't even really do much with that. I did get uh, some pulls for virtual dyno, which I'll put that together. We'll actually have a separate video of that. Um, I do want to talk about it because, the, you know, I drove like almost over 100 miles tonight. The car was fully tuned, but I wasn't able to test it in any meaningful way other than um, getting some of the data logs for the virtual dyno. We'll talk about that. I want that to be a separate video where I can focus solely on that and then do a comparison between what I had when I had the J before and, you know, because I do have virtual dyno logs for that. So we'll talk about it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I mean, what a way to start out the new year, right? Like just, I wasn't expecting that I was even gonna go. And the fact that I did go and everything that happened tonight with the way that it did, I'm somewhat not surprised. It, that. These things tend to happen to me this way. Um, I was able to meet a lot of, uh, not, a, not a lot, but I was able to meet some people that I've talked to online in all of the different Facebook groups I've been. So it was nice to finally be able to put some faces with names and cars. That's how I really know people is what car they drive. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, share with whoever you want. Um, definitely more to come, so stick around.